All right, well, here we have it. The beautiful and budget toner mic. I've heard this is a great microphone kit for anyone starting out on YouTube or looking to start recording their music or even start streaming or podcasting. So let's dive in and unbox this baby. So you open up this slick looking brown box and here's what you see. There's a manual, don't need that. All right, here's to the good stuff. So first off, we've got this hunk of metal here, which is the desk clamp. That's gonna let you clamp your microphone right onto your desk. No stand needed. Super useful for any time you're recording at your desk like I am right now. Next up, you've got your shock mount. This is an awesome tool for microphones. You're gonna need one of these. It's gonna take all the shake out of your recording, anything you do, and keep your sound quality crisp and clear. Perfect for musicians who tend to move around, tap their feet while playing, or streamers who might get a little too heated during their games, or anyone who might be recording during an earthquake. Great quality shock mount, I'm impressed. Next up, we've got the stand here. Got some good weight to it, seems sturdy. I've wanted these for a while. Let's you move your mic around to your desk or slide it out of the way. And finally, we've got the beautiful, sleek and shiny Tonor mic. Right off the bat, this thing looks very nice in comparison to other microphones. We got the plug in here. It's a good standard size, got some cool angled edges. Hopefully it sounds as good as it looks. With that, let's move into the sound test and find out. I actually didn't even notice this when I first opened it, but below that first pile of stuff, you got more stuff. Uh, it comes with a nice XLR cable. It's got its uh, little uh, foamy thing for on top of the mount. Um, some sort of strap for something. And a nice pop filter for when you want to stand and speak right into the microphone so you don't get your p -p sounds and that kind of cleans up your sound a bit. You're definitely going to want those if you're standing straight into the microphone. All right, so first let's see what the sounds like when recording your guitar. Today I'm going to be comparing it with my Audio Technica AT2035, the mic I usually use for recording. This mic is about three times the price of the Tonor kit and only comes with a shock mount and none of the other accessories. I wanted to see how the Tonor stacks up with a more expensive mic. As you can hear, the Tonor mic really gives a quality sound. When I asked my cameraman Mitch to listen to the two recordings, he flat out couldn't tell the difference. I've got a pretty trained musical ear when it comes to sound quality, and I'd say overall, I feel like there's a little more clarity in the Audio-Technica. Everything's just slightly crisper, but honestly, I can hardly hear a difference either. And the fact that the Tonor mic is a third of the price, plus it comes with all the extra accessories, is actually pretty amazing. Also, you'd never be able to hear a difference without headphones or high quality speakers. This really is pretty good bang for your buck. I would have no issues using this microphone and fully endorse it for anyone looking for a starting microphone kit. Lastly, for our sound test, I'm just going to show you what it would be like for someone who is looking to use this for something like streaming or podcasting. So let's head to our desk set up for a speech sound test. So here's an example of the mic set up on the desk with the desk stand clamp thingy. If you're a streamer or showing some sort of video on your computer, you'd probably want to be about this distance away to get a more natural sound. I usually like to be slightly off access if I'm not using the pop filter, because you get those big harsh P's and S's. If you stand facing it and have it a little bit off to the side, then you don't get that harshness because your, your sound travels directly out in front of you. If you are using the pop filter, you can put it right in front of you and just speak right into it, but this is an easy hack for it. If you're going to use this for something like ASMR, where you want your voice to stand out and be a little bit more, you'll bring it right up to your face for a deeper, clearer voice sound. I personally think that mic sounds great on both, but I gave you the sound test so that you can hear and decide for yourself. This whole video is shot mostly with this microphone, except for I've identified the Audio Technica. So if you like the sound of this video, then you should like the sound of this microphone. At the end of the day, use your ears to make your judgment. If you like the sound, then go for it. Okay, so here's the sound test between speaking into both of these microphones. 
I've got them set up even distance apart so that we've got as even a test as possible. So you can listen to the one and then you can listen to the other. Banana, banana, banana. Okay, so here's the sound test between speaking into both of these microphones. I've got them set up even distance apart so that we've got as even a test as possible. So you can listen to the one and then you can listen to the other. Banana, banana, banana. All right, so here are my pros and cons for this microphone in the end. First off, it's super inexpensive for what you're actually getting. This is a pretty high quality condenser microphone. It's got all your accessories. It's got that pop filter, XLR cable, the stand, the shock mount. It's just a really good quality kit for how much it costs. In my opinion, I think this is about the best sound quality you're possibly going to get at this price point. I'm actually really surprised and impressed that they were able to make such a high quality kit for this price. Another cool thing I just saw in the box, it's got a two year warranty so that I'll cover you in case it breaks or something else happens. So that should be pretty good. Overall, this is a really great kit. I think if you get it, you're going to be really happy with it, especially if you're new to recording. And I think this is a great option for the novice recorder. So here are the cons. Honestly, overall, I'm really happy with this. There isn't really much I'd change. Um, probably the biggest con is you are going to need an audio interface. It's not a directly USB microphone. But if you're recording instruments, you're going to need an audio interface anyways. For the basic speech recording, you might be fine with a USB mic. But if you do want professional audio, then the audio interface is the next step up. I use the Tascam 2x2. It's solid. I've got no complaints on that one. You can get the link in the description below. But if you are going to go the XLR option, then I would definitely recommend this microphone. As a quick summary, you can do a lot more with an audio interface and you'll get better sound quality, while the USB mic is simpler and cheaper. But if you want a comparison of USB mics versus the audio interface, I've linked a useful article in the description of this video. The last thing I'd say is that it's not quite as clear as the next step up in price of microphone, but you're going to get that for anything. Obviously, you know, a $1 to $200 microphone is not going to sound quite as good as a $1,000 microphone, but honestly, this one's phenomenal for the price. And it's an almost imperceptible difference between this microphone and something three times the price. If it's your first mic, I also doubt you're even going to hear a difference. Overall, in the end, this is a fantastic microphone, and I'm sure if you get this, you'll be very happy with it.